Oh, my God. Is that a tortoise? Your pop quizzes are getting easier and easier. No, you don't understand. We also have a hair. I've been waiting 15 years for this. We can finally find out if slow and steady really does win the race. Well, I hope it's better than the time you had three blind mice. Oh, tell me about it. See how they run into things. <laughs> now, form holds. The rabbit will get cocky and take a nap right around here. The tortoise, being steadfast and determined, will plod on to victory. Okay. <clears throat> okay, fellas. I want a nice, clean race. On your marks. Get set. Oh, I believe we have a winner. I waited 15 years for this. No character flaws, no dramatic twist. I learned nothing. The life of a fable buster is a sad one. <laughs> Welcome to your new home for the next 20 years. So you're the fresh me. Not really. I was in juvie once. <laughs> I like you, kid. What's your name? Yoli. Yoli. Well, Yoli. If anyone bothers you, you come to me, because I own you. Thanks. <laughs> mm. So, how long you been in? When they give you life, there's no reason to keep track of time. What'd you do? I shot and killed my husband. W was it an accident? You don't accidentally shoot your husband 24 times. <laughs> what made you do him? It's a long story, kid. I've got 20 years. Well, this would kill a little over 21 minutes. OK. All right. It all started when my best friend Sandy came back from Europe. Hello? Back. How was Europe? Tell her I say hi. Ours is hi. What? What? Oh, you can't tell me you have news and then not tell me what it is. That's cruel. Oh, look, look, I'm late for work. Um, hey, why don't you come down for lunch? Yeah, don't be late. Oh, it'll be great to see you then. Bye. Wow. You imagine spending six months in Europe? Hmm. Why don't we ever go, Art? <laughs> Still too soon. Uh, Amy, this is my buddy Bob. Bob, this is Amy. Oh, nice to meet you. About to slog through all this legalese? I tell all my clients, knowledge is the best defense. I thought you told all your clients, sorry, we'll get them on appeal. <laughs> Are you some kind of lawyer? Because if you are, I'm some kind of woman. Amy. I don't know where that came from. Guess my mom's been feeding me pickup lines in my sleep again. Well, I don't want to pass the bar. I just want to learn enough to, uh, you know, protect myself in the divorce settlement. Yeah. Let's see. Now, here we go. Use of separate property, family court 4301, which continues. Ah, don't, don't read it to me. I completely shut down when I listen to that blah, blah stuff. Don't worry, it's been simplified for laymen. See? A person must support the person's spouse while they are living together out of the person's separate property. <laughs> Clinic. What? Hey, Hank. What? No, we're not out of ham. I saw some under the couch. 
Yeah, I know. It's always the last place you look. Okay. Hank? Not Hank Hoffman. You still in touch with him? Didn't he used to work at the mall? Still does. Right. Remember, he lived in that dirty little apartment? Still does. As I recall, you were rooming with him. Still am. Yikes! No, you no, know, it's not so bad, really. It's, it's, it's kind of fun. It's like being 20 again, you know? No worries, no responsibilities. Just what I need right now. Sure. Oh, how about this? Spouse living apart from his or her spouse by agreement is not liable for spousal support unless support is stipulated to... <laughs> Thanks for trying. I think I'm a little unfocused right now. You know, I think I'm a little depressed. It's all this paperwork. It's like, it's like it's proof that I failed. You know, I couldn't even make one person happy. I'll tell you, the whole idea of marriage right now just really brings me down. Hi, I'm looking for Maggie. Sammy! <laughs> you got married! <laughs> Can you legally make them stop that? Where, where did you meet him? How did he propose? I'll tell you at lunch. Oh, uh, Richard, I'm going to lunch. Oh, um, this this is my best friend, Sandy. Oh, she just got married. I just got married. Yeah, I just got that. Nice to meet you. You never know. Well, what is it? Tell me. Your hair looks so incredible. Oh. I mean, how did you get that height? Well, I learned to do this in a salon in Florence. Florence. Well, how do they do it? Well, first you tilt your head over, right? And then you take a flat brush uh -huh. and you just brush everything forward 400 times. <laughs> That's sick. Then you just, you know, flip it back. Oh, they did my nails too. Oh, let me see. Tuscany red. Can you get it here? Oh. So I brought tons of it back. Thank you, son. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, <laughs> tell me about your husband. I can't <laughs> believe you're married. <sighs> how did you meet him? I was in this little cafe uh -huh. in Siena, and Stan could see that I was struggling with the menu, and the... he's so sweet. He ordered my lunch for me. Oh, an Italian named Stan. That's so exotic. Oh, no, no, he's not Italian. No, he's from right here in Portland. Can you believe it? I had to travel halfway across the world to meet the man of my dreams. He's been five miles away the whole time. That is so romantic. Oh, I can't wait for the four of us to get together. Oh. I hope you and Art like them. Oh, well, if you love them, I'll love them. And if I love them, Art will love them. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's quite a house you got here, Art. And that daughter of yours is a real heartbreaker. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Mighty fine-looking son you got there, too. He's not my son. Well, you dodged a bullet there. <laughs> Stan Sandy tells me that you manage a tire store. Yeah. I got eight men working under me. Nearly all of them high school graduates. <laughs> Actually, heart surgery and the tire business are not as far apart as people think. Really? Sure, think about it. Hearts and tires. They both have valves, they both have pressure, and they both need to be changed after so many miles. <laughs> the only real difference is I'll work with you on the price. <laughs> well, there is one... Uh tiny difference. When people's hearts give out, they come to me to be kept alive. Really? Hmm. And how would they get there? Wouldn't be on tires, would it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, buddy, but you walked right into that one. That was the beginning of what should have been a beautiful friendship. Instead, we only got together three times after that. Fifty-nine. Sixty. Well, you got your steel-belted radials, touring radials, all-weather snow. No, wouldn't all-weather cover snow? You know, snow being weather and all. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing you went to med school, buddy boy. You got no head for tires. <laughs> As you did it, gorgeous. Mm. There you have it. Stan's tires, huh? <laughs> now all we need is one smart investor with $20,000. What is that, about three hearts for you? Huh? You can knock that out in the morning and still have time for 18 holes in the afternoon, huh? What's that? <laughs> How you doing, sweetheart? Uh, uh, 
a Cheerio. No. A, a donut. What? Um, a bird's eye view of a hat. No. Time's up. Ha ha. Ha ha. It, it's a tire. <laughs> How could you not get tired? <laughs> Sweetie, look what the doc thinks is a tire. <laughs> How about writing a movie tonight? Yeah, you know, just uh, you and me. Art, right, we're uh, we're gonna see Stan and Sandy tonight. Remember? Yes, I do remember. That's the point. I don't think I can spend another evening with Stan. But Sandy's my best friend. And I love her. Her being the operative word here. Now, look, she could have had any guy she wanted. What does she see in that guy Stan, anyway? Well, I mean, he holds her hand, and he, he cares if she's comfortable. I mean, you know, have you seen the way he looks at her? It's so sweet. What's your point? <laughs> Maybe he makes her happy, have you thought of that? No. I admit he's a little rough around the edges, but he's just having fun. I mean, you could stand to loosen up a little, Art. What's that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's obnoxious. All right, fine. If you don't want to see them, you tell him. Fine, fine. I've been itching to tell him he's obnoxious, irritating, egotistical, unfunny. Just, just, just help me pick the best ten. Uh, you know what? I'll handle this. Oh, okay. That was your plan all along, wasn't it? Yeah, but I must say, you caught on quicker than I thought. <laughs> How do lawyers wade through this stuff? I swear to God, this sentence is three pages long. No wonder I check out. Maybe if I read it to you out loud, really slowly, you'll be able to follow it. Worth a try. Okay. In cases in which... How we doing? Still with you. The circumstances extenuating this... <clears throat> Sorry. Hey, buddy. Forgot your lunch. Oh, thanks. Eat it uh, before it gets hard. Amy, would you uh, take this in the back for me? You know what, near where the garbage cans are? Sure thing, Dr. Myers. Hey, I need some advice. Look no further. I happen to be the king of advice. So what's your problem, spiritual, financial, what, uh, sexual? Have we met? Oh, Maggie, this is Hank. Hank, this is a woman. Remember our little talk? <laughs> I didn't think that applied to all. I, 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 it does. <laughs> so, uh, what's your problem? Maybe we can help you. So I have this friend, Sandy. Oh, uh, yes, always a friend. <laughs> no, really, and she just got married. And my husband hates her husband, and I'm supposed to tell her. The question is, how? How, indeed. The old conundrum. We can choose our friends. We can't choose our friends' mates. It's a tough one. Wait a minute. Is that an ice cream truck? Go for it. Be right back. What am I supposed to do? Well, you gotta be direct. No hemming, no hawing. You just, you have to trust that your friendship is strong enough to take it. Maybe you're right. Well, what's your friend's husband like, anyway? Well, I mean, he's basically a nice guy. He's just a little loud and overly enthusiastic. You know, like an overgrown puppy. I know the type. <laughs> Guys like that are a lot of fun, but uh, they can really wear on you. <laughs> a nutty buddy for my nutty buddy. <laughs> Who's the man? You the man. No, I'm afraid you're wrong, sir. You are the man. I beg to differ. You the man. Uh, check again, because if there's a man here, I think it would have to be you. You must be looking in the mirror. Man. 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 <laughs> la, 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 man. You know, I tried the sage rose, but yeah. it just made me look sallow. Oh. I think I need a honey cinnamon. Oh, I have a perfect color for you. You know what? That really goes with the outfit. Do you think so? Yeah. You know what? Go to Shelly. She can work miracles with blush and liner. I mean, not that you need the work. Do you have her number? Oh, yeah. I have it in my book at home. I'll call you later. Sandy, we need to talk about something. Stan is so great. And Art and I just love spending time with him. 
But we've been doing so much of it lately, Art's thinking it might be a good idea to just kind of cut back a little bit. Oh, okay. Want to cut back to once or twice a week? Uh, a little less than that. Oh, twice a month? A little less. <laughs> How often does he want to get together? Never. Uh, <laughs> never? Art's had enough of Stan to last him a while. Art doesn't like Stan. No! No, no, no! He loves Stan. It's just that he doesn't like a lot of what Stan says and does. I'll admit that Stan can be a bit, you know, exuberant, but that's what makes Stan Stan. And he loves Art. I mean, he, he looks up to him. He thinks of him as a much older brother. Do you hate me for telling you this? Hate you? Are you kidding? Look, I, I don't know how Stan's gonna take it, but I'm fine. Really? Yeah, come on. We've known each other since we were kids. Oh. I mean, you've been telling me things I didn't want to hear for years. Like when I was eight and you found out from your parents that I was adopted. Oh, yeah. yeah and when I was 15 and you told me my boyfriend was cheating on me. <laughs> oh, and remember when we got our mail mixed up and you came running over to tell me I didn't get accepted to Princeton? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Was that 20 years ago? <laughs> Apparently, my wife's lawyer wants me to account for every penny I've made over the last 10 years. Balance of checking account. Ooh, <clears throat> I'm impressed. Boy, that's not that much. No, that you have a checking account. <laughs> Don't you have one? Well, yeah, you need a photo ID. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a little busy here. No problem. Atari! I can't play. I can't play Atari right now. I've got some grown-up work to do. This is important. Look, Hank, fun is fun. But, you know, it has to stop once in a while, you know what I mean? Uh-uh. <laughs> Listen, Hank, you know, someday you're gonna have to give all this up. Act like an adult. Take on some responsibilities, get a real job, wear shirts with buttons. Time marches on. Canuck, canuck. Hello, Maggie. Is Art here? There's something I need to speak to him about. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Maggie. I tried to talk him out of it. Art's at the store. Uh, Maggie? Oh, look, he's I... back. <laughs> oh. Hey, Stan. What's, uh, going on? Well, according to Sandy, you don't want me around here anymore. Now, if that's the truth, I just want to hear it out of your own lips. Oh, well, I, you know, I, I'm, you know, I might have said, uh, something about all the time we spend together, but you know, I didn't mean to create that impression. Are you calling my wife a liar? No, 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 no. I, it's just that I, you know, I, I may have made a, a couple of remarks um, that my my wife might have heard in a in a way I didn't intend, and you know, and then she starts talking to your wife, and you know, when the girls get together, you know, I, and, uh, <laughs> next thing you know, what uh, I hate you. <laughs> So you still like me? Well, sure, of course I do. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But are you? Oh, said... Maggie, Maggie, you know I I don't know what you uh, you took from what I said, but obviously you just uh, took the ball and ran with it, didn't you, sweetheart? <laughs> That's when it happened. Maggie, what do you think you're doing? Put that down.
The trial didn't take long. I pled guilty. Actually, I said, I did it, and I'd do it again. <laughs> That's when they brought me here, and I've been here ever since. That's my story. Wow. Did that really happen? No. <laughs> In reality, I had to apologize to Stan and pretend it was all my fault. Then Art bought me lots of expensive things, trying to buy my forgiveness. <laughs> This is just a place I go in my mind whenever Art is complaining about Stan. Is that happening now? No, no, no. Let me check. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. I would drive on my rims before I would go to that man for tires. <laughs> discount or no discount? Yep. We're gonna be here a while. <laughs> One day he talks to me, the next day he totally ignores me. Why does he have to play these head games? Well, sometimes guys are like that. For a lot of guys, it's all about their egos. You're right about that. You know, the older they get, the worse they get. But on the other hand, there's some really good things about men. Like what? Uh, they can be very emotionally supportive, and they'll carry things. <laughs> Mom. But you're right. I mean, there are times that they just make you want to scream. Why, I can tell you some stories that have happened to me over the years, you know, before. They...